Hello guys, welcome back to another session of Power Automate Basics and this is going to be the continuation of earlier session where we have discussed about creating maintainable flow and in the previous session we have discussed about how to use renaming feature as well as how to use notes feature to provide the more meaningful description about the actions which we are performing. Now this time we are going to discuss about grouping of the flow logic within Power Automate. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal and there we can look into one of the examples how we can do the grouping of the flow logic in Power Automate. So guys I am inside the Power Automate portal and I am into one of the example which I have created earlier and to make you understand about the maintainable code or say maintainable flow I am going to use this example. So so far we have seen that if we are providing the correct name to each of the actions then your flow logic is more readable and that we are achieving through by specifying the correct name using rename feature this is first thing you can do while writing the maintainable flow the second thing you can specify the right comment over here as per the logic this is the second thing now in this session we are majorly focusing upon the scope so over here whatever the logic which we are designing and there are multiple steps involved in it so we must have to group it within the scope and the benefit of keeping the logic inside the scope is that you can intact your all logic which is related to a specific functionality in a more readable format or a small example it is very difficult for you to understand the benefits of the scope but if you do the development of the complex logic at that time the scope is a risk for the maker to maintain the separation of concern principle within flow development and guys this is very powerful in the ecosystem of power automate flow development another thing you can achieve through the scope block is that you can implement the try catch logic within the power automate by default power automate doesn't give out of the box any kind of a connector that you can use as try catch block but with the help of a scope block you can create the try catch logic so what i mean to say that let's look into an example so over here i am going to show you one of the code example which i have implemented for one of my customer and you will find it over here within the production block within this piece of logic you will find that i have implemented the try block as well as the catch block this try block will execute when our execution is successful and this catch block will execute when it failed if you are not understanding any of this thing don't worry i am going to implement all these examples in the upcoming session but for a time being you can understand that with the help of scope action you can achieve many of the thing within the power automate for example you can group your all actions which is specific for the logic as well as you can design the try catch logic for your flow application one last thing so how you are going to add the scope action so you need to come over here click on add an action and search for scope over here then you will find that there is an action called scope it is just look like a container and within that you can create how many number of actions which you want to create that is a specific to your logic so guys this is what i wanted to discuss with you on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care